Hello, everybody. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had a reader ask me about how you can link separate sections of a quiz and have them graded individually in Google Forms uh, through Fluberu. Unfortunately, Fluberu treats everything as a um, just one quiz. So how do you actually uh, do this so that you can grade each section individually? So here's option number one, create a Google Doc and uh, you have part one, part two, part three, part four. Um, here, here's my quiz. Uh, this is gonna be part one of the quiz. What I can do is I can actually just go right here to send. I can click on this right here, which is the uh, hyperlink. I can just copy it. I can go right into my Google form, um, highlight over my text, and uh, just go right here. Uh, this is a uh, insert a link and just go ahead and uh, copy it and boom. Now my, my kids can actually just click on it and it'll take them right to my quiz, that part one of the quiz. Uh, then what you can do is you can also do the same thing for part two of the quiz. So if this is part two, I can go right here to send, I can get the hyperlink, I can uh, copy it, and then I can go right in here to my Google form once again, or Google uh, doc once again, and once again, just hit hyperlink, and voila, here you go. That, that's uh, option number one. Option number two is uh, actually making it a little less complicated uh, from a student standpoint, and that is putting a hyperlink uh, to each form um, within the form. So it sounds a little complicated, but it really isn't. So let's say, for instance, I have two parts of this quiz. This is part one, and I'm just going to name it uh, part one, and then this is going to be right here. This is going to be part two um, of the, the quiz. So what I'll do is I'll actually go through and, you know, I'll create my entire quiz, uh, part one of my quiz. Once I'm finishing my, my quiz right here, um, what I do is I go and I'll, I'll create part two of my quiz. So I create part two of my quiz right here. Now this is really, really important. Um, what I'll do next is I'll click on send. Once again, I'm going to get the hyperlink right here for part two uh, of the quiz. I'm gonna go back to part one of the quiz right here, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go right here to the settings wheel, and when I click on the settings wheel, right here where it says confirmation page, I'm going to say thanks for taking part one of the quiz. Uh, click on this link to visit part two, okay? So I'm going to do that for every single time, every single part I have, um, I'm going to do that because I have to create separate quizzes because once again, Fluberu only treats a Google form as one quiz. I'm going to hit save. Now this is how it's going to look. I'm going to go right here. I'm just going to preview my quiz right here. So I'll just preview it. Let's say that I'm a student and I'm taking the quiz. Uh, so I'll just put down Matt and I'll put down the answer here. When I click submit for part one, this is what happens. It says, thanks for taking part one of the quiz. Now click on um, this link. When I click on the link, it brings me to part two. I fill in the information. Um, when I hit submit, it, it'll say my response has been recorded because I haven't done anything in part two right here to change this message. Now, if I had a part three of that quiz, I could go right here um, to my part two Google form. I could once again go to the settings wheel right here and I could once again say, you know, thanks for completing part two. Click on this link for part three. If I wanted to do that, put the link right there. Or I could say, um, thanks for completing the quiz. Okay. Um, and then uh, I can actually hit save. And uh, when I do that, this is what's going to happen. I'm actually going to go to my quiz. I'll, I'll just fill it in uh, again. So I'll put Matt, I'll click on submit, click on the Google Forms link. I'll finish this quiz. And now what, what it says is, uh, thanks for completing the quiz. Now, sometimes uh, you you have this right here where it says uh, submit another response. Sometimes you might not want that because what students can do is they can actually go back and they can fill in another response. So one really great way of uh, taking care of this is once again in each of your Google Forms you're going to go to the settings wheel and you're going to uncheck right here where it says submit another response. I already did it here in part one of my quiz. Let me just show you what it looks like by default um, in part two of my quiz. 
I'm just going to hit submit another response. I'm just going to uncheck that and make sure that I hit save. Now, if your quizzes do not look like this, um, this is the new version of Google Forms. Uh, right down here where this little man is, uh, that is the old version of Google Forms. So how could you actually do this in um, the old version of Google Google Forms? It's actually really easy. If you go right down here, this is where the confirmation page information is. And once again, um, you would uncheck this link right here to um, submit to another response. Uh, now, as far as going back to the new Google Forms, you can go right back to the new Google Forms by going right here. So hopefully you like both options. If you know of a better option, let me know. I'd love to hear about it and uh, good luck.